We have studied the country's best high school principals, the best affiliate leaders of Habitat for Humanity, the best emergency room nurses, the best pharmaceutical sales reps. And whenever we interview excellent performers in the same position, we find this same phenomenon, extraordinary results achieved in radically different ways. Yes, there may be some similar practices among those who excel in a certain position. But no, for any position, there is no perfect profile. There are only perfect practices that fit your particular profile. So, what your organization wants are not the few innovations that can be scaled to the many. Instead, what your organization wants are many practical innovations and a way to deliver these innovations to those few people who share the strengths of the person who dreamed up each one of them. And this is what you want, too. Instead of top-down initiatives that feel awkward and inauthentic, you want to be introduced to practical innovations that you might well have thought of, but haven't yet. Techniques that, when you try them out, feel as though you've done them before. You want to accelerate your creativity, and yet, still retain your authenticity. This is why we built the Standout Strengths Assessment. Over the last decade, we captured many hundreds of techniques, practices, and insights for leaders, for managers, for client service positions, for sales, for individual contributors of all kinds, and we loaded them into the back end of the assessment. Once you've completed it, you will receive only those practices that fit your particular strengths. You will receive the best practical innovations broadcast on the You channel. Facebook, Netflix, Slacker, and Standout. By filtering content to fit you, Standout is mirroring in the field of best practices what we see happening in other fields. For example, in the entertainment world, content used to be gathered in one central place and then pushed out to you, no matter who you were. ESPN pushed out sports programming. CBS broadcast comforting sitcoms. The History Channel collected, edited, and distributed newsreel footage of World War II. To get what you wanted, you had to sort through all 500 channels and pinpoint the one or two shows that truly matched your tastes. To some extent, this still works, but with such a proliferation of centralized content, the burden is on you to sift through it all. Today's most successful companies are working to relieve you of that burden, and at the same time, matching you with content more accurately than you could yourself. Facebook is now an advertising powerhouse, not because it has a centralized stock of better ads, but because the first question it asks is, who are you? And only then, guided by its understanding of your unique profile of likes and dislikes, does it deliver ads that fit your profile. Netflix does the same. Before you can stream a movie, it gives you a movie quiz. It presents you with a series of movies, asks you if you've seen them, and how you'd rate each one. And then, based on the results of your quiz, it suggests only movies that match your past preferences. Pandora Radio and Slacker Radio do much the same thing with music. Both of these services, in slightly different ways, listen to what you choose to listen to, and then play you only music that is similar to your inferred musical tastes. In each of these cases, what's centralized is an understanding of you. This understanding of you, this algorithm-derived avatar, then becomes the filter through which the content is delivered. The algorithm isn't perfect. Sometimes you find yourself listening to Lady Gaga when what you really wanted was a Lady Antebellum song. But its focus is. Its focus is you. Your habits, your preferences, your movie favorites, your musical quirks, and, in the case of standout, your strengths. Within your job alone, there are hundreds of possible practices and innovations. Across all the different people who do your job, there are uncountable combinations of strengths and weaknesses. What you and your manager need is a Rosetta Stone to make sense of this complexity and match the right innovations to the right strengths. Standout is your Rosetta Stone.